Metagenomics is a molecular technique which allows for the analysis of the genetic information from unculturable bacteria, previously unknown due to limitations of microbial culture-based techniques. Functional metagenomics is employed to discover novel genes from environmental samples or enrichment culture. Metagenome library construction and activity-based screening are employed in functional metagenomics. DNA libraries are constructed by fragmentation of the genome with a restriction enzyme to generate DNA fragments, ligation of the DNA fragments into a plasmid vector, and transformation of recombinant plasmids in bacterial competent cells. Transformants in a DNA library harbor different DNA fragments from the genome. At the end of this activity, students will learn how to construct a metagenome library and describe the methods employed in DNA library construction. Half liter of the marine sediment enrichment culture was grown for metagenome DNA extraction. Penal chloroform DNA extraction method was used to extract metagenome DNA. Metagenome DNA was treated with 1 microlit of 1% RNAs after elution for 1 hour. Restriction enzyme digestion was carried out with 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5 microlit Sautry A1 restriction enzyme at 37 degrees Celsius for 10 seconds in a 10 microlit volume per reaction which contains 2 microlit DNA and 2 microlit RE buffer. After RE digestion, enzyme inactivation at 65 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes immediately followed. DNA fragments from 1,000 to 3,000 base pairs were recovered from the gel using the 1KB DNA ready to use ladder as standard reference. Excised gels containing the metagenome fragments were purified using gel PCR purification column. DNA quantity and quality were measured using nanodrop. PHSG398 plasmid vector carrying a chlorampenicol resistance gene was used for RE digestion. Digestion reaction contains 5 microlit DNA 10 microlit buffer and 5 microlit BAM H1 restriction enzyme in a 50 microlit volume per reaction incubated at 37 degrees Celsius in 1 hour interval for 5 hours. 1 microlit of 0.1% bovine serum albumin was used to stabilize the reaction. The phosphorylation of the plasmid vector to prevent self ligation was performed using bacterial alkaline phosphatase. RE digested plasmids were purified using gel PCR purification column. Purified Sautry A1 digested metagenome fragments were ligated into BAM H1 digested PHSG398 plasmid vector following the ligation protocol for T-vector PMD20 with minor modifications. Ligation volume was doubled and ligation incubation time was also extended for one hour. DNA Mighty Mix ligation kit was used for ligation. One-shot top 10 competent cell was used for transformation. Sterile lysogeny broth was used to grow cells. Transformation tubes were manually shaken intermittently every 10 minutes for 1 hour during incubation at 37 degrees Celsius. Transformation reaction was plated in LB Xgal chlorampenicol agar media using 100 microlit of transformed cells. 20 positive transformants were observed and were isolated independently on LB agar media. 
colony PCR was performed on 20 positive transformants to check metagenome fragment insertion using M13 primers. PCR mix contains 10 micromolar of forward and reverse primers, 1x emerald amp max PCR master mix, and one single isolated colony of positive transformant. Thermal cycling conditions include one cycle of pre-denaturation at 94 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes, followed by 28 cycles of denaturation at 94 degrees Celsius for 10 seconds, annealing at 70 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds, and a final extension at 72 degrees Celsius for 45 seconds. PCR products were electroporese in 0.7% agarose gel at 100 volts for 40 minutes. Samples were stained with ultra-power DNA safe dye and viewed using blue light trans illuminator. Colony PCR revealed insertion of DNA fragments from the metagenome library. Identified positive transformants with metagenome fragment insertion were used to investigate possible telluride reducing activity of the gene inserts. 1ml of the recombinant culture was inoculated in 6ml LB brought with 20 microgram per ml of chlorum panicle amended with 1 millimolar sodium telluride. The assay was incubated at 37 degrees Celsius. One positive transformant, designated as A1, showed visible telluride-reducing activity. Transmission electron micrograph of A1 recombinant cells exposed with the telluride ions revealed intracellular tellurium crystals. Plasmids were extracted from a 24-hour culture of the A1 transformant using fast gene plasmid mini kit. Single cut and double cut RE digestion were performed using BAMH1, NCO1, XBA1, and DRA1 restriction enzymes. 10 microlit of 1 kb DNA ready to use ladder undigested and digested fragments were electroporese in 0.7% agarose gel at 100 volts for 40 minutes. After electroporesis, the gel was stained with ethidium bromide for 5 minutes, followed by this staining with ultra-pure water for 10 minutes with shaking. The gel was viewed using UV trans illuminator. RE digestion confirmed the insertion of a metagenome fragment in the plasmid extracted from the A1 culture. Plasmid extracted from the A1 transformant was sent for sequencing. The resulting chromatogram was visually checked for sequence gaps and errors using SNAP gene. Sequences were assembled using codon code aligner and deposited in DNA data bank of Japan. DNA sequence of the metagenome fragment was analyzed using BLAS and showed sequence homology with Pseudomonas istutseri. Two overlapping open reading frames were highlighted in red and blue characters respectively. Deduced amino acid sequences of the two ORFs were also indicated. Conserved domain search hinted sequence similarity to transmembrane type 2 phosphatidic acid phosphatase or PAP2. Gene ontology prediction linked the function of the metagenome fragment to a substrate-specific transmembrane transporter. <laughs>